uh, Meredith's family. They've held a press conference, and you do have a lot of people who support you, and you do have a lot of people who feel no, that they have, they feel that Meredith has not received justice. I know that you said you've written a letter to them, and they said they haven't received it. What is it that you want to say to them, and are you going to send them that letter? I already sent it. Um, I sent it to my lawyer. It's in, it's in the mail. Um, and mainly, I just want them to know that I really understand that this is incredibly difficult, that they've, they have also been on this never-ending thing, and that when, when, the, when the case has been messed up so much, like a verdict is no longer consolation for them. And that just the very fact that they don't know what happened is, is horrible. Like I, the thing that people really want when they've been victimized is just simple acknowledgement. And they deserve respect and, and the consolation of some kind of acknowledgement and that that's being lost. And, and it's, I, I really right. wish them the best. Um, and your statement yesterday, your first statement was to, you mentioned them right off the bat in, in the statement, and I know that you have thought about them. Your ex-boyfriend being taken to the police station in Italy overnight, having his passport uh, papers, wasn't taken from him, he wasn't arrested, but told not to leave the country. Have you been in contact with him at all, and how does that make you feel knowing knowing that this morning I mean my my initial thought after the verdict was oh my god Raphael um, he I, I feel very supported and very respected and, and believed here um, and I know that he feels very supported and respected by many people in Italy but like he is vulnerable and I don't know. I don't know what I would do if they imprisoned him. Like it, it's maddening. Um, I know this is, as you said, it's just you were so defiant yesterday, traveling over here. It all is like a well of emotions, and it has to be a roller coaster for you, as it is for Meredith's family as well. And I know Absolutely. we're recognizing that. With the time that we have remaining. Is there anything else that you would like to say? I just really hope that people look beyond me in this case and look and look to what has happened. Really look at the people, really look at the situation, really look at the systems, really look at the aspects of these systems that allow for these things to happen so that it's that it's comprehensible. And I and I feel like the only way that any of us can get any sort of acknowledgement and understanding and consolation is through understanding. Like I'm really, I understand that this is really difficult and I can, I can only testify to what happened to me um, and hope that people believe me, but I think the answers are out there and I really, really ask that people try to, try to look for those. I know it's not easy for you to come here and to talk and to express yourself as you have. And we appreciate the fact that you have done that and we wish you the best going forward. Thank you, thank right. you so much. All right, Amanda. Thanks. Let's get now another check of the weather with uh, Ginger Z. And I should say that you can find out more and you can really learn more about Amanda Knox in her, her book that came out last year. You will really have a better understanding and it's in bookstores now. Now let's get to check of the